We came out Burma out out of accident. Yes, people were people were harvesting Assam, people were harvesting Tripura, people were harvesting Nagaland, people were harvesting uh, Bangladesh. They had no clue Burma had uh, agarwood. Only um, after Second World War, there were a group of merchants from Gujarat. They are called uh, Boris. Okay, it's a, it's a small community as a Bori Muslim. So they were big timber merchants. So they somehow uh, uh, made a deal with the with the with the Burma government to do uh, timber harvesting. And entire world knows Burma teak is the finest uh, teak wood in the world. Yeah. So they got uh, the contract for uh, we used to say mahal. Mahal means uh, tender contract. Uh, for that hill so for three months rigorous three months people are over there um, with axe you know and they are they are harvesting these trees thinking it's teak wood you know and uh, these Bori Muslims uh, uh, they used to export it throughout the world uh, some in Hong Kong may, maybe in, uh, even in Gulf in, in this uh, um, and then Persian land and, and um, several other places. I, I don't know how far they went with the timber uh, business. But accidentally, uh, within the timber logs, they found this agarwood log, which doesn't see, it doesn't seem to be same, so different, and it emits smell. You know, after further investigating, uh, they figured it out that it is uh, a Burma agarwood. You know, and then they they tried to find out how's the market in there because they used to come uh, and do business. They were merchants. They used to do business in the in the Gulf countries as well, in the GCC Peninsula. So they found out the value of agarwood, and that's how they started exploring this territory. You know, doing the wood and the oil and things like that. Till today, there is a family, um, one of the oldest timber merchants from India, sitting on, I would say. If not, if not more, or if like given the fact, maybe around like a ton. You can you imagine like a ton, like a ton of agarwood from from the from the from the seventies, uh, sixties, eighties, you know? And um, since they are wealthy family, so it is their asset. They don't want to sell it. I happen. To, uh, now their grandson is uh, running the business. They were timber merchants from the British era when uh, they had colonization in, on India. So they were merchants from that era and they have Burma. Must be Kinamic, I don't know. You know, logs and logs of it. They have, uh, they, uh, they, he told me the place. I cannot share that information. But yes, there are. And uh, they are just uh, an affluent family with a tradition of uh, selling timber, you know, not even a morsel, not even a gram he gave me or he sold to me. And you're asking me like how important and how valuable? Like, I don't know, then if this is not uh, what we say, the epitome of Ud, then I don't know what is the epitome of Ud. You know, what you get today and what this was uh, cultivated and uh, and distilled 40 years ago or 30 years ago like i don't know what to do like we we are we should be thankful that we in this era we had a chance of uh, seeing wild uh, sri lanka of seeing wild filipino you know and you know the you know what is the asking price there is no filipino oil people are buying Cambodi Thai distilled oil in the name of Filip Filipino. The Filipino oil has no fruitiness. I don't know how, but maybe I'm wrong. If um, I don't want to get into that argument or debate, but uh, yes, but people are buying profoundly. People are spending thousands of dollars just for a few grams of oil. And over here we are talking about Sultan Kabus, wild oil from Burma, you know, and. 
today i can't even enter that zone if you want to enter burma zone god bless you the amount of paperwork you need just to enter you know it's it's very difficult and then you are talking about harvesting them forget about it you know and if you find a tree you cannot harvest them and then harvesting and then sending it to dubai or sending it to uh, other parts of the world at the at the comfort of your home own home at the doorstep you know here we are talking about this is this was uh, probably meant for uh, dignitaries we don't know you know like who are who are uh, uh, known figures of the world you know who are uh, uh, aristocrat who are um, royal you know who are um, running a nation you know it was particular made for them as a gift as a token of love from sultan kabus and it, it is making it is making to your doorstep and that to vintage it is something i i fail to understand why people don't get it you know and the collectors who are buying they're buying it silently i know collector you know collector she knows collectors there are collectors in in uh, in, in in this in this country itself you know 